Today we'll take a first look at my new T962 Infrared IC Heater Reflow Oven. Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're going to take the first look and overview of this new reflow oven I got for making circuit boards and repairing electronics. I got this from Amazon. You can find it linked down below in the description. And the reviews online of these, well, they're mixed. It seems everybody has a different opinion on how these things work and whether they should be modified. There is a complete firmware hack available for them, as well as some uh, hardware updates. So I think what we'll do, we're gonna take a look today, see what we've got, and then in the future, we'll see about doing some mods on it. Uh, different product listing, bunch of packing lists and stuff. This, I have little doubt, is straight from China, even though it was fulfilled from Amazon US. Packaged really, really well. I'm liking this. Uh, really abnormally well, actually. We've got a cable. And we're in. I find it hard to believe that we'll have any shipping damage with this kind of packing. Let's see what we're up against. I really love the look of this thing. I already... Well, I knew when I purchased it, I think it's just the perfect size for what I wanted. Now. We'll see how the functionality works out long term. There we go. We've got the drawer where we put our circuit board. Control panel here, which is scuffed up, but it does have a protection layer on it. It's pretty scuffed. A lot of it traveled a lot of miles to get to me. On the back, fuse, 10 amp internal, on off switch big internal fan, and some model info. Nothing to it. One thing left to do here, bite the bullet and get it done. That's better. And the paperwork that comes with it, not too much. Packing list, some info on other products that they sell, other reflow stations, big ones, probably some picking places too. Some info on the 937, which we don't have. Interesting. And an instruction book. Now, I don't have high hopes, but maybe we'll be surprised. Well, it's actually pretty good. It's actually written in good English, too. Wow, surprising. I'll have to get used to this and see about setting up my own reflow curve. This is the temperature curve that we operate on. It's also on the front of the different curves we can program in over time. So basically we'll ramp the temperature up and we rest and then we go up again and then we cool the boards down. And that'll reflow our solder on our surface mount boards. Not much to see without taking it apart and well, Next video, let's get this thing apart. There's some known defects inside of these in some models that I think we should look at and make sure that we don't uh, have those issues in this particular one. It kind of looks like we maybe don't. I can see some aluminum tape extending down here. Some of them are coming with masking tape on top of the insulation and it's just burning off. Well, let's tear it apart and take a look. If you don't mind, click a thumbs up on this video if you like this kind of content. If you like me bringing you some new electronics builds using this and we'll do some surface mount soldering. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Hit me up in the Discord chat down below or hit me up on Patreon. I'd love to have you as a supporter. I'll see you guys next video. Cheers.